to see how this one goes as uh, DM Hero wrapping up his level 20. Yeah, DM Hero took a few months at the end of the year uh, not participating in the monthlies. He did come back for the uh, for Invitational, but uh, yeah, we, we're going to see what uh, DM Hero has been uh, training for all of these months. DM Hero is ready whenever. Uh, Bidwell uh, commenting the big collar and the big gulp game for Packy. Uh, DM Hero going with a beer. <clears throat> I'd go with the beer personally, but... Well, I guess as long as you uh, play the way you practice, it should work out. If I played the way I practice, I'd go undefeated. All right, well, for both players, 3 two, one and go. Our semifinal Sunday off to a start right now between the one seed and the five seed. Remember, they're playing through five levels now. Uh, a good player uh, can get through these in relatively about 11 and a half, 12 minutes. That's what you're looking for. Um, the record is held by uh, Dimwit, uh, 10 minutes, 31 seconds. But that, that, that 11 to 12 minute range is really where you, what you're shooting for. Yeah, and well, uh, looking a little bit at the boards, uh, Paki with a very varied board at the moment, uh, with a nice flat top line. And it, Packy is definitely uh, keeping his board low. DM Hero's got a lot of stuff scattered all around his board. Uh, but if he can get some blues, he can really start doing some damage. Uh, but I, I do see this drop combo happening. Uh, it looks like in column three, I think he's either waiting for a double yellow, possibly a drop. But and now he's getting those double blues, uh, which are really starting to tear his board apart. 19 to 16 here early on as we approach the first minute. Yeah, this is too early right now to call it uh, a, a, an advantage to any one of our players, but uh, both of them doing a good job at uh, managing their boards. Uh, DM Hero with a little bit of problems in on the left side. I don't uh, think so. Watch what he's going to do here. He's going to drop this down and get that double. Oh, uh, my bad. I thought it was. <laughs> I was I was thinking the same thing, too. I'm like, what's going on there? And uh, it's a lot easier to look through the bottom of the board when you're not playing. Uh, so you can see these moves for sure. Uh, but DM Hero down to four and down to two is Packy as uh, Dimwit coming into the booth to uh, join us. Scout out the competition, perhaps. Uh, but at about a 140, DM Hero's out at 11. And at a 146, uh, Packy's out. So a slight lead right now to the five seed. Hey, just wanted to say hi. Hello. Up out if, I, if it's needed. Well, looks like we've... there's some uh, pretty crazy play going on already in this match. Absolutely. Uh, we've got the one seed and the five seed. Uh, Packy with a little bit of garbage trouble clearing that out on the top of his board. A lot of red dependency right now. Uh, some double reds really help clear out the board of Packy. Uh, looking at DM Hero, he's kind of uh, carved out a little bit of a hole in the middle of his board. Uh, really trying to keep things balanced on uh, both left to right. Uh, double red's really what he's looking for right now. Yeah, and pack it right there with a big combo to clear that uh, right side uh, out of red, uh, out of red viruses. You know the uh, the virus counts are pretty close, but uh, I actually, man, I don't know who I want, uh, who I'm voting for here. But uh... oh, I forgot to do that. Give me a moment. Yeah, it's tricky. I, I feel um, DM Hero has put himself in a in a bit of a spot here. He has uh, a number of combos that he wants to make happen, but they're sort of conflicting with each other. So I think we're going to see Packy's cleaner board make the difference in this match or in this game. Yeah, it's uh, that right side is uh, a little bit of uh, an issue to reach that uh, column eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a long uh, serial chain of things that he wants to get done there. I, oh, I would have thought to go for the blues uh, underneath and then just clear the yellow from the from below. But uh, okay, he's going to 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 get at all of the one by one. Yeah, and Packy is out just a little bit ahead. Uh, DM Hero looking for his last little blue to get out. 
and he is out at about the four minute mark uh but a bit of an opening now for packy here uh, as we hit the uh halfway point here in this uh best of, first in this best of five just six or seven viruses still um this is definitely recoverable i would say yeah let's remember it's uh three more levels to go uh, including this one so there's there's a lot of dr mario still to go <laughs> that's for sure Packy's got uh, every every color combination available to him, um, so that's uh, that's always a nice spot to be in. Yeah, DM here without uh, too much blue to play with, opening there a little bit. And it is a bit late, but our prediction is out. Oh, look at this! Beautiful, very efficient play right there by DM Hero. Might have been a slight miss on getting the tuck there, I think. And a good end game here for Packy. Uh, really just has a lot of options to clear a lot of his stuff. Starting to get a little blue dependent, though. Uh, DM Hero is cascaded in a lot of yellow. Uh, especially yellow in places he might not need it, uh, but really starting to uh, throw the hammer down here and uh, really catch up. He's about to hit single-digit viruses. He's down to 10. Packy down to 3, though, uh, really just trying to keep that opening that he has against the 5 seed. Just watching for that last little bit of blue. And there it is. Packy out at a 545, two levels to go. Uh, he needs 13 and 14. You know, it says only six viruses behind, but because uh, DM Heroes uh, last two viruses are on top of each other, that's going to be tricky. Although two double blues in a row takes care of that dependency immediately, and he will be out very soon here. Out at about a 608, so not too far behind. Sometimes you need some luck from Dr. Mario, and it, it might happen. And it's, it's all about these opening moves uh, here on these last few levels. It's really going to set your tone, set your pace. Uh, and you, you could catch up. We've seen people come back in these late rounds before. Oh my goodness. Packy is such a monster. <laughs> yeah, Packy Pack just uh, seeing the whole board at once and playing it uh, very nicely all together. He's really pulling away with it now. About a, a 13 virus lead. We, um, have, we have somebody in our chat... Uh, who has wagered 17,000 channel points on Packy. Uh, oh, snap! Uh, so, uh, Don Venure is a high roller right now at 23 to 34. Uh, DM Hero's board looking really nice, though. Uh, a lot of opportunities for doubles, and now he's really starting to, again, play aggressively. He's got that garbage down to a point where he can use it on another virus. Uh, 27 and 19 here as we hit the 7 minute 15 second mark in this first match. Yeah, DM Hero did a great job at uh, dealing with that uh, staircase of yellow viruses. All the way, it was uh, double horizontals and uh, taking care of each one of them very nicely. Packy down to 12, uh, DM Hero down to 20 viruses. Uh, but DM Hero's got himself set up for some good uh, combo clears. Uh, he's really just waiting for the right piece to fall. And I like this play here, clearing out garbage, getting the double yellow down to 15, 15, 8. Packy in a bit of a situation in column 8, Dimwit. Yeah, it's uh, it does look like a situation, but he's just cleaned it up immediately. That's uh, it's really quite a skill to to have that vision, and I, I think part of what happened there is uh, it looked like he was in trouble, but he had been there for so long that he had given the RNG enough opportunities to give him the pieces he needed that it finally happened, you know? And and, and I, I do have to correct myself. Uh, Packy does hold uh, two of the best times here in 10-14. Uh, to 14. Uh, The first two sub-10 times, uh, a 9.55 and a 9.58, and I don't want to speak too soon, but it's looking good right now again for Packy. Yeah. But it's a 15 virus uh, disadvantage for DM Hero. But DM Hero, a very, uh, very good combo friendly board here early on. Uh, a lot of zero drop plays. Yeah, he's going to be out of blue in just a second here. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he manages, um, you know, dealing with pieces that are blue. <laughs> 
It looks yeah. like he's setting something up uh, on the right side, and I like this play. Beautiful. And uh, he's really prioritized opening up the blue on the left, I think. So things are working well. Look at this cross combo. Great drop combo there by uh, DM Hero. He's now narrowed it to single digits again, uh, 36 to 29. Uh, Packy getting some stuff set up, but uh, DM Hero's board, uh, not, not a lot of red to help him here uh, in the, his uh, mid game of 14. Yeah, I, I think the story of this whole game has been back, Packy's board is completely clean and DM Hero has just a tiny bit of trash on it. And I think that tiny bit of trash is what's making the difference here. It is 16 to 27 as these players get to their last third of their rounds here. Uh, 60 viruses to clear in 14. Um, and DM Hero is setting up again for some good plays. Uh, he could have a really interesting quick end game here. Uh, with some of the stuff he's setting up for. A lot of double opportunities. Uh, but Packy already down to single digits. He's at seven, but here comes DM Hero. Uh, 18 viruses to go. And uh, again, a lot of good setup here. Really, I'm sure he's hoping that that uh, red virus was gone uh, on column eight so he could get that quad clear. But Packy already down to his last two. He just needs two yellows and he'll be out. He'll be out at a 10-26. Uh, so he'll take wow. game one over uh, DM Hero. Uh, it was close. It was close throughout, but uh, Packy just Packy took the lead, and never let go. Yeah, wow. I mean, that's that's got to be one of the top times, right? It is uh, uh, definitely a top time for 2021, uh, but it is one of the best times of all time. I'm just checking here. Uh, that would actually be third all time. So he would own the top three times uh, as far as that goes. <laughs> Oh, okay. So Paki getting tired of uh, not only going for the top one, but top three. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a Dave over screen for DM Hero. And uh, we've got a ready for DM Hero's uh, first game or second game uh, against Paki, looking to uh, even this up one to one. Uh, Looks like we next. got readies in the chat, so we're just waiting on the countdown. Here it comes. Three, two, one, and go. Got to give credit to DM Hero for being very slightly faster out of the gate. Not that that matters, but it is fun. And I'm liking these uh, horizontal setups here on the top of the board for DM Hero. Didn't really have anything for that double blue. Uh, tried to be creative with it. And now that's paying off as he's going to get a small drop combo uh, for his trouble. Uh, he's down to 32 early on here to Packy's 35. Now, do you think he'll wait for the double red to uh, to get that cross clear on the right? Or do you think I, he's going to cut it off early? There's well, the double red. Well, to answer your question, I think he's going to wait. <laughs> it looks like he waited. Uh <laughs> It's always interesting to try to guess how long they're willing to wait before they uh, they have to do something else. And, yeah. and a lot of that depends on, you know, how many other places they have to use that color. So if they have plenty of other places, then they're willing to put those pills other places. But when it comes right down to it, if there's only one good place to put a color, then, you know, you stop waiting for the double of that color and just use stuff. Fifteen viruses for Packy as he's really started to open it up here, uh, but DM Hero still keeping pace with the one, with the one seed right now. Uh, Packy beat uh, Swong Strong and Sarah Sparkle to get here. Uh, DM Hero took down uh, John Nash and the Dave uh, to get here. Uh, the twelve and the thirteen seeds respectively. Uh, it's still really close here early on. Uh, a slight lead to Packy, but uh, DM Hero once again uh, just. Keeping pace, four viruses to go. Now one virus to go uh, for Packy. Packy will be out of uh, level 10 at a 147, uh, but not far behind his DM hero, just looking to get that uh, favorable RNG. He just needs, uh, if he's going to play that double red where I think he is, he just needs uh, four more blues and he'll be out. There's one, there's two, and number three, and now we just need that fourth one. And there it is, at a 208. Uh, not far behind, but Packy already out of the gates here. 
on 11. Uh, he's got 41 to go. Uh, DM Hero get, just getting started with 48. And look at this setup that Packy's doing. All of his plays have been completely no drop at all for this entire level so far. That's the first drop he's had. That's just, it saves you so much time because the drops really are incredibly slow, even in the non-versus uh, version of this game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, it's it's one of those things that once you started mastering like your horizontal clears and your combos, the next thing you really want to just go for is efficiency with your garbage uh, because it will save you so many seconds. Yeah, yep. And uh, Packy is uh, making short work of this level. Meanwhile, DM Hero is getting quite a few uh, quad clears and more. So you always like to see that for efficiency. Absolutely. Uh, it's just that he's not really been able to take anything out of that center of the board, uh, which really limits your navigation options when pills come down. It does uh, kind of look like a spire right now, doesn't it? Oh, kitty. Yeah, that's that's my cat. She has decided she wanted to commentate today, too. Um, <laughs> Uh, Packy out at about a three bit at 30 second mark uh, into 12 and uh, just immediately going to work. Yeah, wow, this is a big advantage now. Almost 15 viruses. Okay. Basically, uh, just Packy keeping a, a good top line. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, there's no drop times as much as possible. That's the difference. Uh, 11 viruses to go for DM Hero on 11. Just absolutely uh, brutal 11 so far for DM Hero. <laughs> yeah, that, that center spire was so dense, and it's just been his bane the entire, uh, the entire level so far. Yeah, uh, it does look like, though, he tucks, that tucks in a nice cross, so... He's got uh, the pieces he needs really here to get out, and I think the plan is to do a horizontal to drop into the yellow. Definitely. That looks to be the plan. And he'll be out at a 445, but uh, a big, big margin now as uh, Packy is up by, uh, well, almost 30 viruses at this wow. point. Wow. Half a level, basically. And he just continues to find places like that uh, double yellow tuck where you just don't have to wait for anything to happen. The clear happens and you're on to your next pill immediately. And a lot of yellow on uh, DM Hero's board. He's drilling down, though, uh, with those vertical clears to get things onto the next level. Uh, a really important part of your game. Always check to see, you know, what's two, three levels down from what you're clearing because there might be a combo you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paki not getting a lot of blues to start uh, cleaning up those uh, columns uh, 1 and 8. Yeah, a little bit of frustration on the face of Paki, uh, but he can definitely make some magic happen, got that tuck double. Uh, but again, really not a lot of blue help for him as he's down to 10 viruses. This has given DM Hero a massive uh, charge, and he's only down yeah. by a handful of viruses now. Just 7 viruses is what that comeback looks like. We'd have to get a time on his 12, but his 12 has been blazing fast. Uh, he's only down by three viruses. That blue drought really handcuffing Packy as uh, DM Hero uh, getting this drop combo. He'll be down to seven, five to Packy, and now five for DM Hero. Now three for DM Hero. DM oh Hero has taken a goodness. bit of a lead. How is this possible? <laughs> Two viruses to go for DM Hero. Three viruses, or one virus now to go for Packy. He's going to get the tuck and be out at 632, but not far behind his DM Hero. Uh, he's down to one virus, and uh, he made up half a level, essentially. He's uh, now right only out of the 11 gate. seconds uh, behind. And he is he is pumped and ready to go here. Uh, what a <laughs> get that phenomenal fist go comeback. <laughs> he knows he made up a good uh, chunk of time there. That was a legendary 12. Uh, I, I can't wait to watch that back and get a time on it, but uh, I would have to say that that was one of the best uh, 12s we've seen. 
Uh, and he meanwhile. continues to just blaze through 13 here. Uh, the lead remains at about four viruses, which is a huge change from the, the like, 30 viruses that he was down before. Absolutely. And that's why we say, you know, no, no lead is too safe uh, here in Dr. Mario as it's now tied again, 33-33. DN Hero now starting to charge on those doubles. Uh, he's now taking the lead again at 29. These two going back and forth now. Uh, Packy's going to be looking for a drop combo here. DM Hero is playing a little more flat now, so that's uh, changing his uh, strategy in order oh, to... look at this to match combo his... by DM Hero. DM Hero with that long L. He's now down oh, to 18. Wow. Just absolutely making brilliant plays here. Uh, you, you you might almost wonder if he's he had to warm up in that first match, but now he, it seems like he's pretty hot. <laughs> Uh, Packy, though, taking the lead at 14. Um, Packy's got a lot flatter board uh, than DM Hero, but DM Hero has a lot of just small opportunities uh, with that double drop there. That puts him down to 13 viruses, now down to 12. Packy at 10. We're at the eight and a half minute mark here in the second game. We still got one level to go, folks. Uh, I feel like DM Hero's end game is a little bit cleaner here, though. Packy's is just a little bit cluttered in awkward ways. It'll be interesting to see if that um, if that costs anything here. Yeah, it's part of having those viruses all tucked into a very corner that uh, makes it a little more difficult to play around it. Look at this! Look at this drop combo by DM Hero. He's down to two. So is Packy, and now it's just going to come down to who can get their things out first. It's one Looks down. Like DM Hero is going to be into 14 first at 8:58. And Packy in a bit of a struggle right now. He's he's, he's got his uh, red virus just buried in that corner. He's looking for a yellow red now. Yeah, that's ah. Uh, he one. can put oh, the yellow red. on the other side. I didn't see that. That's great. Oh, and he got the yellow. Packy out at nine thirteen, but I think he he. You could tell that he could have done better on that 13 as uh, DM Hero now opening up an eight virus lead here on uh, 14. Uh, DM Hero in the driver's seat early on here in the second game. Or but then again, you cannot uh, count Paki out. He can make it ha happen right now. Uh, no crown on Paki's side. Uh, we know Paki's up by one. No, uh, we'll get that up there for you. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out in chat. Uh, DM Hero being very efficient with his uh, yellow and, and blue, which is important right now because that's what is everywhere on his board. Meanwhile, uh, Packy has made himself a little bit of a hole in the middle of his board. You gotta worry that that's going to cause some fall time as, uh, as you hang stuff out over that hole. Fall time is definitely a factor, uh, but the other thing is there's not a lot of yellow for him to play with. Uh, mm. which is the big thing that's slowing him down right now, as DM Hero really just starting to run away with this. Yeah, now an 18 virus lead. What a swing. Uh, you, gotta think, just... uh, no. you gotta think whoever put 17,000 points on uh, DM Hero is feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> Oh no, that was 17,000 on Packy. There was only one oh. person who placed the wager on DM Hero. Uh, but oh. look at this drop from Packy. Packy down to 22. It's a 10 virus advantage. And now Packy's starting to turn on the speed here. Uh, that double clear puts him at 19. But now single digits for DM Hero. And no reds, uh, but favorable RNG for him as he's now going to go down to four. And really his only big issue uh, as he's cleared it out was column one. But now, now that that's out of the way... Uh, Looks like DM Hero is going to take game two, and he's going to take it at a pretty pretty good time. Again, right in that 11-minute range. That's where you want to be. Uh, he'll be out at 11.18, and uh, as 11.18 elapses on Packy's clock, game number two goes to DM Hero. Uh, we've got ourselves a, a match, folks. You really got to feel for Packy in that one, though, because I feel like a big part of what completely shut him down was just getting a billion blue viruses and no blue pills on and, that one level and and it you know that that one problem led to a huge comeback we'll we'll have to look uh but the record for 12 is a minute 25 uh i really am interested to see how fast dm hero was on that 12 because that was the absolute turning point for him in uh evening this one up and we do have readies from both players here 
Uh, two to one leads really where you want to be right now after this one, uh, especially <laughs> with how DM Hero turned that around. An absolute banger of a comeback. I like DM Hero's starting board a lot here. Um, he's got lots of opportunities for really efficient plays, and you can see he's already doing combos. Brilliant combo to open. Uh, going for the horizontal, probably the right call. Trying to keep some stuff on your top line, uh, but also really look at that. Another great tuck play, and, and both players playing on high, uh, you know, which really shows, uh, you know, when you're playing on high speed, it's, you're confident in your tuck plays uh, that nothing's going to go wrong. Um, because on uh, the the amount of time it does take, I believe, and I, I can be corrected on this, uh, is quite a lot, quite a bit lowered on high speed mm -hmm. for the uh, pill to lock in. I do think we're going to see as uh, as Packy approaches the bottom of his board, we're going to see him speed up a lot on this. Um, you know, DM Hero had an unbelievable top top line, but. Uh, but that's where Packy is for his bottom line. His last few rows are just ripe for doing amazing things. So uh, DM Hero has a little bit of a lead right now, but that can change very quickly. Especially as he's now trying to find uh, Blue and just not getting it. No, he's not, but he's still maintaining uh, a pretty good pace. He just has those four blue viruses to go. Uh, an LBMF uh, for DM Hero down to two, Packy down to six, and in a very awkward position are his final viruses. Yeah, it has turned out to be a little bit awkward, hasn't it? Um, he does have a plan for almost all of them at the moment. Uh, just needs a little bit more yellow to finish off his level, but DM Hero right will there. be out at 148, and he'll be a little bit quicker. And out Packy out at game. 152. So these two really close. Packy had a strong end game and a really rough top line. And not a lot of uh, red. He's going to have to dig down for it for Packy. Thirty-five viruses to go for DM Hero and DM Hero's board uh, starting to open up a bit. Um, what's really going to be interesting is his end game. A lot of open space down on the bottom third of his board. Same for Packy. Packy's really got a lot of open space, which is just uncommon for do a double-digit level. Yeah, well, for a little bit there, they both had really long, uh, really big uh, holes in the middle of their board. Looks like um, that's more or less been taken care of. Um, but Packy's got a lot of maneuvering room at the bottom, but he th has to. The price he's paying for that is he has to be really careful not to let stuff uh, hang there. And uh, twenty viruses to twenty-one. The lead just in the hands of Packy by just a touch here, as he's at seventeen to nineteen. Uh, both players have similar situations where a lot of stuffs on one side of the board as far as viruses go. Uh, both on the right side for both players. And uh, it's making some stuff a little bit challenging to access. Yeah, totally. DM here is having to be uh, very clever with the way that he finds his clears. And, uh, and Packy's doing the thing that experts do, which is making it look easy. <laughs> Simple and, uh, you know, no effort. Packy is very good at sniffing out uh, tuck plays you wouldn't even think about because they would just be too risky. Um, but we're also seeing a lot of players, uh, you know, get get hyper tucks or uh, get a get a rotation, maybe not necessarily where they should, or a difficult rotation to get a horizontal pull back to vertical in cramped space. But Packy has opened this up. He's down to his last virus out at 354. DM Hero again, not far behind. Uh, looks yeah. like he's. With this cross, he's going to be uh, just a few seconds behind. 404, these two absolutely going blow for blow here. A big gap, though, in uh, column three for Packy. Uh, that's going to have to make drop time a factor for him. Uh, meanwhile, a very double friendly board, uh, but not a lot of blue in that top third. <laughs> yeah, no blue accessible, huh? Just that one virus in the third column. And, and uh, making it even virus. more difficult by uh, covering it up with a little bit of red there. He's going to go for a horizontal clear so that the blue he had to put it above it doesn't become garbage. 
but some great some great uh clears in cramp space by uh dm hero as he's down to 39 uh to packy's 38 and another great drop play here uh that's gonna put dm hero down to 37 viruses 36 for packy these two toe for toe on this 12. this is so close <laughs> And it looks like Packy might be struggling a bit with RNG, uh, making some plays up in his top right quadrant that I, I don't know about. But uh, looks like he's managed to fix fix them. But uh, a really, really rough column seven for Packy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, something's gone wrong there, huh? It won't take him many pieces now to clear that away, but he is going to have uh, a lot of red and blue as a result. So he's gonna be he's gonna be looking for clever things to do with uh, yellow, and and DM Hero taking advantage of that opportunity uh, down to eighteen, uh, Packy at twenty five, and uh, Packy just really looking to get rid of that eighth column. That's what's really slowing him down a bit, as well as the RNG uh, twenty one to fourteen. It's uh, now a touchdown. Uh, lead for uh, the one seed Packy against the five seed DM Hero. This is the semifinals of the uh, DRMC January Speed Tournament. Uh, this is the best of five levels, ten to fourteen. And as you're seeing right now, the one seed and the five seed uh, just absolutely going at it, not giving an inch to anybody really. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> DM Hero, however, not maybe. really sure how best to clear this weird conglomeration of reds. There's a lot of things that all look good, and you sort of have to pick between them. But uh, looks like he's found one that's pretty great. Opening up uh, just his last two viruses are yellow, so he's he's looking he just... for a little bit of yellow. Meanwhile, Packy down to just uh, four viruses of the same color. So now, you know, now it's, down to three. It's incredibly close, actually. Just uh, who is going to get the Six. halves that they need first? Four seconds between these players going into 13. Oh my goodness. For those of you thinking about clear rate, that's essentially a virus, a virus and a half for these players. <laughs> and our, our chat cannot handle how close this is right now as we're on the penultimate level. And, and what really is the critical game here, uh, you, you definitely want to be in that two to one advantage uh, in case this goes to a fifth game. But uh, these two players just not giving an inch right now, 38 to 41. It's just so close. Uh, and even with those struggles, Packy manages to come back and uh, resecure the lead. This could go anywhere, but a misplay over in column seven. Exact same saying, it's time to get the cows out of the barn now. <laughs> we got our, uh, we got our uh, smoke detector going off. <laughs> uh, 27 to 28. Uh, DM Hero's big struggle is on uh, column 8 on his right side, but now he's really starting to cruise and get pieces to clear that out. Yeah, I... In terms of board health, I'm actually sort of frustrated by both boards at the moment. There's there's just weird things happening on on, uh, on both screens. So um, I think the virus count is actually a pretty good indication of where they're at right now. And that puts DM Hero just a tiny bit ahead. And Packy's starting to get creative with tuck plays and, and just one and two drops right now. He's down to 13, really trying to open this lead back up. But DM Hero just will not relent as uh, DM Hero down to 10, uh, but his right corner starting to look problematic. And as I say that, he clears it out, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have to go pretty much vertically for everything there, I think. Um, well, that's sort of what I would be thinking about doing, which doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. Um, so he's definitely gonna be wanting to focus on that as early as he can. Both players down to four viruses here. There's still one level left. Uh, these two playing like every single level is the last one. Two le two for Packy, four for DM Hero, and excuse me, uh, looks like just that yellow virus is the big problem for DM Hero. Uh, Packy just needs blues. Uh, he's got one. He needs two more. There's two. Looks and like the uh, yellow virus got taken care of. DM by Hero out at 928. Packy <laughs> out at 929. <laughs> As we go to the final level in this third game. Oh my god. 
Someone please make sure the chickens are okay. <laughs> uh, we've got 56 to 52, an early lead for uh, DM Hero. Uh, DM Hero carving out a bit of a crater here. Uh, not a lot of space for Packy, which is really his play style. He likes playing with as little drops as possible. Packy's going to get some big horizontals here, I think. Packy's shooting for that uh, quad line, and he's going to get it, and turns it into eight. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, this board for Packy is very, very good, and that's put him uh, five or six viruses ahead here as a result. The DM Hero not relenting. DM Hero really looking for red right now. That's what he would love uh, just to get out of that situation and call him, seven, call him seven and eight, but right now it's it's a big, big lead for the one seed as he is absolutely putting it, put it into fifth gear on this last stage. Yeah, I have to agree with that. It's now a 10 virus advantage here on this last level as DM Hero just trying to make some sort of moves here. Uh, looks like he's got himself a nice uh, quad drop, so he will be at 21, but it's 12 viruses and they're all bunched together and I mean, they're all in a really good position for Packy to just wipe them out. Yeah, this board is is a very clean situation for Packy at the moment. And uh, so with the, the virus advantage and the board health advantage, that seems like a good spot to be in. And Packy just needs the one yellow and he'll be out. He has absolutely thrown the hammer down in 14. He'll go up two to one in what was really a best of five stages. Both these two uh, just took a stage, two stages apiece. And then Packy, that, that big eight combo was really the deciding factor. Yeah, wow. DM Hero going to show us uh, exactly how close it was. Oh, maybe not. Anyway, just a few seconds behind, maybe uh, 20 or 25 seconds it, it behind. Was, it was very close. I look forward to seeing how that will look in the standings. All right, we've got readies from both players. DM Hero looking to beat Packy and go to the finals. Packy looking to just keep this momentum going. We have goes from both players, or from Benji, rather, uh, and we're waiting on our players to start. I think we're still waiting on our players to start here. They have been given the all clear. There they go. Just uh, a little bit of stream delay, it looks like. Apologies for that, folks. And uh, Packy out to a, an early lead, but it's uh, the virus count doesn't tell the story here because uh, DM Hero has a lot of combos set up but not yet fired. And and it's actually a one virus game as we just refresh DM Hero's browser here. Oh yeah, there uh, we go. Now they're they're neck and neck. But Packy's got a lot of stuff he can cascade down. Uh, DM Hero really just trying to maintain a clean board uh, here in this fourth game. Yeah, and uh, the thing I'd be watching on DM Hero's board is uh, he's got two, well, now one uh, column that's empty, and uh, he's going to have to be managing the fall time in that column. And meanwhile, Packy's got a, a very tall spire in the middle that he's just cut down. So forget that. <laughs> good, good save. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've got 10 viruses for Packy. We've got 14 for DM Hero uh, in this round 10. But again, we've seen 30 not mean anything as far as leads go. Uh, as uh, DM Hero drops that garbage down. Uh, looks like he may want to consider going for that uh, double horizontal. Uh, we'll see what he does here. But uh, a lot of interesting uh, combinations for DM Hero. But uh, Packy just needs a blue and he'll be out at sub two minutes. 158 on that level 10. Yeah, and DM Hero is uh, pulling off some pretty pretty nutty tricks to try to make his red available at the bottom without using up uh, colors that he needs. Having a little bit of trouble with it. He's probably going to have to spend a little bit of extra yellow 
to uh, make that available. That looks like it's delaying him by quite a lot here, because uh, yellow was his last virus, and uh, now he has to wait for it to get his second to last virus. But he's going to get the drop, and he's going to be out at 245, uh, down by 17 viruses uh, on level 11. But we, we've, we've seen the comeback happen before. <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> Packy made himself a little bit of a platform there uh, just to be able to get that very efficient uh, horizontal clear. And I guess the judgment there is that the little piece of garbage that it made to enable that was worth the extra efficiency. It's a really interesting judgment call to have to make. And it's the kind of thing that the top players are doing all the time when they're running. Uh, 28 virus. Maintaining that uh, 17 virus lead and a very clean board as DM Hero has made a board that's sort of diagonal, slanted top left to bottom right. And uh, he's trying to clear out that left side now to, to even things up. And really get access to at least one yellow on the board. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll run into that situation where you, you're, you just have that great pill combination where you're just getting everything out on one side and then suddenly you're looking and where's that yellow pill supposed to go so uh but packy out right now at uh well he will be out <laughs> for uh 4 15 hopefully yeah four minutes and 14 seconds for packy uh, as he's trying to put this one away Yeah, meanwhile, the M hero just struggling too much with the, a lack of reds on, on his board. That's that's all that he needs, really. Everything else is pretty much open at this moment. And yeah. Packy's, Packy's got a, a very double-friendly board here early on, but not a lot of access to yellows, as I'm noticing. Really, he's got to start sinking down, and he does clear out to uh, get access to at least that one yellow. Uh, but you, you really got to start thinking about uh, tackling that left side again. And that's exactly what Packy's going to do. DM Hero going to be out right at around the five minute mark. Hopefully, yellow. Thank you. Great. <laughs> I'm sure that DM Hero is saying the exact same thing. <laughs> I'm going to be out here in a second. Hopefully, yellow, please. Yellow, yellow, yellow. <laughs> We like we like asking for colors in uh, the weekly checkup, which you can join on our Discord as well. Uh, it's a big lead though for Packy. It's about a 24, 25 virus lead, but uh, here comes DM Hero with some big creative clears, trying to narrow that gap as quickly as possible. Yeah, Packy's in a bit of a situation again where he has all the blue and you know, just not getting the blue pieces. It looks like he's also holding out for a red yellow, uh, if in column one to get that double clear. And yep. that that's that's held him up a little bit. And having that one uh combination dependency will really slow you down. Uh but it looks like he's gonna turn it around into a another uh fat log clear. So uh what he's a down to flexible eight. way of playing he had there. Absolutely flexible. Uh down to six now, but it's it's given DM Hero just enough uh, momentum to start carrying this back as he's now under 20 viruses uh, here in this uh, fourth game in this best of five. And another fat log uh, on the board, this time in favor of DM Hero. Uh, he's going to be down to 19, and now Packy's kind of buried himself here. Yeah... Oh. It's uh, it's fine because of the amount of stuff that he had lined up already, but it is uh, a dangerous thing to to be doing if you haven't made that plan already. And uh, there's going to be limited yellow on the top of uh, Packy's 13. Taking a look here, uh, really. Team Hero setting up a big combo. Watch this one fire. That's a huge combo. That'll put him down to 15 uh, as we approach the or as we eclipse the seven minute mark in this fourth game. Uh, 45 viruses on 13 for Packy. Uh, DM Hero still just trying to get out of 12. Uh, got locked up early on in 12, and it's really slowed him down. Yep. 
Yep, he's uh, very much bottlenecked by blue at this point and uh, looking for those efficient ways of clearing. And he's finding them. Uh, he's going to take all of his yellows now off the board uh, and we'll be doing the same with red soon. Maybe not. Uh, looks like he's uh, decided that he wants to focus the blues. Probably a good call here. Uh, he's going to uh, clear out his reds now. So now he just needs a very small amount of blue and he's out that double blue huge and then a blue right after he'll be out at 749 so a good strong finish uh, out of a 12 that would looked otherwise to be a nightmare but uh despite that it's almost a 30 virus oh 40 virus difference now which uh packy is just going crazy here yeah packy once again at the whole half fourth uh, of uh advantage And I mean, we've we've seen big comebacks, but uh, you, you don't want to be w counting on them. You don't want to be, no. Uh, oh, but a oh. bit of a misplay by Packy. Nothing too huge, but it is going to give DM Hero a little bit of opportunity here uh, to make this a little bit closer. Three viruses to go for the one seed. Uh, 39 to go in 13 uh, for the five seed, as now it's just two reds and Packy will be out uh, at a sub nine at an 846 uh at the 846 mark 34 viruses to go for dm hero and i think uh, at the end of that level um what we saw from packy is an announcement of just how important it is to keep your board clean because uh although he made a mistake because he had so much room uh for all his uh, from all his other stuff being clean he was able to make a different play that was about as good um, and and really prevent that from being a big problem. Absolutely, uh, garbage management is is key. Uh, you know, I, I tend to do I tend to make a lot of mistakes in practice. So instead of resetting, I see how I can work around it. And you'd be surprised uh, the opportunities that come up when you start to get creative. Uh, sometimes you'll even see combos you didn't think of. Does look like uh, Packy's running away with it a little bit here, though, as. Um, as he's deep into level 14 and DM Hero in a little bit of trouble here trying to finish off his 13. DM Hero is, is finishing strong though. He's been making pretty consistent clears. He only had that one hiccup just for that uh, bit, bit of a uh, stream of uh, pills, but now he's coming back and he's going to get stuff cleared out. He's going to get the double red and suddenly this uh, end game on 13 looks really good for him, but uh, is it going to be good enough is the question. Yep, this is a nice, simple end game to have. Uh, meanwhile, Packy, 20, 25 viruses to go, and a lot of them doubles, meaning efficient clearing uh, on the horizon for Packy. It's a 40 virus advantage, uh, and it really looks like Packy has run away with this one. Yeah, Packy just looking for the right pieces. That's all he's doing, the waiting, waiting, and waiting. And the, 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 the rivalry between these two uh, goes so far beyond speed. These two meet a lot in uh, the versus championships as well. Uh, so these two these two know each other. They know their play styles. And uh, we just saw DM Hero rock a pretty massive combo. Uh, but a bit of a misplay there. Uh, uh, no, he's he's trying for another hero combo oh, there. I see, I, think. I see the hero combo now, yeah. <laughs> uh, six viruses to go. Uh, for Packy, uh, and he will punch his ticket to the finals. I think it's possible that at this point, DM Hero is just having a bit of fun with it because because uh, he can see the writing on the wall. But a good there good, it goes a big hero combo there, uh, just turning it into a slam dunk contest on his side. <laughs> as Packy will be out at eleven minutes and thirty one seconds. Uh, Excellent game, time. Game four, to, game four, and the match going to Packy, uh, but DM Hero with a. If if we were to have a, just a single game, uh, I think uh, game two really would have showed us like just how wild this game can get. Well, I gotta disappear, I guess. You do. Uh, good luck to you. You're going up against Leviticus, and we'll see that here in just a few minutes.